Yeah, hello everyone. I uh, welcome to a uh, learn a ten a plus a common English phrases in fifteen minutes. I repeat, learn a ten plus a common English uh, phrases in fifteen minutes. Okay, today I have uh, some phrases and some idioms uh, that I'm going to uh, be using to form simple sentences so that my viewers uh, will be able to follow me and understand how uh, these uh, phrases and idioms are used uh, correctly in spoken English. Okay, some of the ones that I have, because I have so many here, but because of our time, I've decided to uh, limit them to about 10 plus. Like uh, phrases or idioms like uh, to cut somebody off, okay, to judge a, a book by its cover, uh, so far so good, it is it. So please just come along, I have them explain on the chalkboard. I'll be taking them one after the other, then I'll make sure that I flesh them up uh, to the uh, listening uh, kind of uh, benefits of my viewers and my listeners. So please come while I take you to the board. Yes. So learn 10 plus uh, common English phrases in uh, 15 minutes. The first one is uh, to face the music. Okay, when you say somebody is to face the music, it means that the person has done something wrong and the consequences of that person's actions, the person is to face it, to bear uh, the, 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 the kind of uh, the, the repercussion or to carry the repercussion of a particular thing that you've really done uh, wrong. For example, the thief, okay, the thief was caught and uh, immediately he faced the music. Maybe he was sentenced or he was sent to, to jail as a meaning of to face the music. Then the second one is down in the dumps. Okay, down in the dumps. Okay, down in the dumps. He was down in the dumps when he saw that he failed the exams. When somebody is down in the dumps, the person became so depressed. Okay, became so down, downcast, uh, downcast when he or she discovered that, wow, despite all my effort, I finally failed the exams. So the, the, the person's spirit is extremely low. The person is in doldrums. That is down in the dumps. Okay, to hit the spot, to hit the spot, after much effort, her speech, okay, her speech finally hit the spot at the meeting. When she finally hit the spot at the meeting, it means that it, it, it finally struck a chord. That that speech was actually what she needed, or what the team actually needed in order to achieve their goals. It finally, finally, that last vocabulary that I used, okay, hit the spot, made me achieve my goals in my communication. And then the next one, get out of hand, okay. That look, the truth is this: the inflation presently is getting out of hand. It's going beyond control. Or that child has been misbehaving, and I discovered that if the, the child is not cautioned, okay, he or she might get out of hand. It means it means that the child might uh, go astray. The child might do certain things that the parents would not be able to contain or to control anymore. Then best around the okay, to, to beat around the bush. Okay, it, it, it means that to to be big marole okay to, to try to evade maybe questions and just to, uh, and you you, you you actually kept on using words instead of <coughs> excuse me instead of hitting the nail on the head you decide to do what to dance around the main issue that is a bit around the board then act your age my grandmother advised me to always act my age it means that to step up it, it means that to become matured, okay, in my in, in my ways, in my behaviors, in my actions. And it, it means that maybe my grandmother discovered that I've not been, I've, I've been too childish. I've been acting maybe immaturely. So decided she decided to advise me to do what to act my age. Then let's look at the next, the continuation. Yes, the first one is get your acts together. Look, if, if we want to really achieve our goals, 
there is a need to quickly get our act together to be organized to work to work as a team okay to not allow anything to distract us that is the meaning of to get our act together and then to make a long story short uh, please uh, we've, we've been listening to you could you please just make a long story short with regard to this issue it means that to summarize okay to go straight okay that just spear or just please just uh, do away with, with with those secondary okay and tertiary information just tell us what we need to do immediately that is just that is the one of the ways to really use uh, this phrase or uh, this idiom to to make a long story short then the, the next one is to cut someone off to cut someone off then she cut her husband off when she saw him with another uh, woman she decided to do what to stop communicating that the woman decided to cut her husband off when she caught him with another woman she, she, she stopped communicating she stopped interrupting she stopped calling okay, that's the meaning of uh, this idiom then judge a book by its cover okay we should give him another chance instead of trying to judge a book by its cover judge a book by, by its cover is trying to really conclude on somebody's character on somebody's disposition based on maybe uh, external signals please we need to let him come we need to interact with him give us some time so that we can really understand him instead of all just concluding that this person is like this we need to go close very close to him to understand his personality so most people make that mistake maybe they judge people who dress maybe shabbily that this person must be rascally that this person must be a thug just because of the, the way they are dressed so at times most people commit this mistake so please do not judge people by their cover based on their physical appearance then finally the bonus is so far so good in fact it, it has been so far so good with our company since COVID-19 began it, mean, it means that the company has been what uh, progressing that uh, the results that the company has been generating have been what impressive uh, so far so good my results have been wonderful uh, so far so, so good this video has been extremely beneficial and thrilling so thank you so much uh, for your time uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i am committed to helping okay, stu students and individuals improve their proficiency in english language uh, thank you and i will definitely see you in the next video